Hello everyone, today I'll be doing a step-by-step -step compilation of all the Grandmaster Tactics Drills map in Fire Emblem Heroes. Now, some of you have been asking me where this even is. You can find this in the story maps if you have your apps updated. So make sure you go to your app store, your Apple store, whatever, and get that taken care of. And then you'll see this appear under Tactics Drill here in the story maps. Then you simply go to Grandmaster and you wrap these up. When you complete all of these tactics drills, it calculates up to about 12k feathers, so it's worth doing them. Alright, let the compilation begin. Starting from today, I'll be doing a series of Grandmaster tactics drills in Fire Emblem what Heroes. Are you I'll be explaining every step of the way so that you understand instead of just copying my homework. Now first, we use Peshkets to lower all the enemy stats while buffing okay. all ours. This is especially lethal on Blade Tome like users such as Owen, allowing their damage to reach astronomical amounts due to having enhanced attack and attacking enemy with decreased defense. Now let's go and have Morgan Freeman send his green mage to the Shadow Realm with Grima's truth. Yep. Okay, now we all get buffs. Unfortunately though, the buffs runs out at the start of our turn. So we have no choice but to go and attack this bullfighter without any buffs. We want this bullfighter gone. Luckily we're fast and strong enough to take it out without any buffs. Let's do that now. If we leave him around, that brave bull will hurt a lot. Ooh. <laughs> I was just waiting to see what kind of sound she makes when she's hurt. I'm sorry. Anyway, so let's go move Soth over here so that we can bait the blue mage into attacking Soth instead. Otherwise, she'll be attacking Owen, and, well, attacking Owen will plan? leave us at a disadvantage. You'll see why in the coming turn. So the blue mage attacking Saw will hurt this blue mage quite a bit. Now, since he's now out in the open, we can now have okay. Morgan Freeman, who's normally weak against blue mages, to take him out, unlike if he's standing on a defense platform. Okay, sure. so this turn, we're going to have Saw attack this red cavalier. He's strong enough to take him out in a single shot, and then he gives, he gives our team a buff. And with that, Owen is not quite strong enough to take down this What's green refrigerator. So this is where that comes in. So now Morgan Freeman will attack this blue mage, sending him to the Shadow Realm, and then buffs Owen just a little bit more, just enough to take down this green refrigerator and end this map. And so ends the first map, Two Birds, One Stone, with Owen being the stone. The second map is called Brief Meetings. By using Escape Route and Wings of Mercy, we create these little brief meetings to take out all these units across the map. So the first thing we need to do is have Freddy Bear attack his land strike. In doing so, we set things up for him to get killed by Cecilia in the coming turns. This blue refrigerator here is of no threat to Freddy whatsoever. We're just gonna have him kill himself by attacking Freddy. Meanwhile, we need to move Marth down here. We want to bait only one attack, and that is from Bullfighter. Since Marth can't actually cross over these mountains to attack Bullfighter, we're going to have Bullfighter hurt himself by using Fury 3 on his Brave Bull. Marth can survive one attack, but he cannot survive another one from Lance Dragon. Okay, so now we're going to have Cecilia kill this Blue Refrigerator, because Cecilia cannot take out this Bullfighter. We're a little more efficient by doing this. Whoop. And now, we head on to the next turn. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh my god, that caught me off guard there. <laughs> no, 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 not, not, a, not as bad as that. Ooh. <laughs> oh, poor Mark. Okay, Freddy Bear nearly kills that guy in a counterattack, and this green mannequin attacks the wall, allowing us to go through it in a second. Okay, so now that we set things up with this Lance Dragon, why don't we go and... Well, actually, before we do that, let's Understood. move Marth here with Escape Route to chop up this bullfighter. It may not be the same bullfighter that hit him, but you know what, it's the same yes. bullfighter nonetheless. Now that bullfighter's been taken out, we're gonna have Cecilia take out Lance Dragon. In doing so, we just cleared out the bottom right corner. 
Now, instead of having Freddy Bear kill this Lance Knight directly, we're gonna do another thing. We're gonna move here. We're gonna let this guy attack Freddy and let this Lance Knight kill himself on Freddy. In doing so, we weaken him some more with Fury 3. These are one of those times where Fury is... It doesn't it doesn't work for you it works against you it takes it makes you take extra damage that you shouldn't take all right now Freddy Bear takes out the Lance Dragon Lance refrigerator thing and now we're gonna have Marth over here and ooh, this green mannequin to death behold and now we use our final technique we're gonna move Freddy up like this allowing Cecilia to come in and take out this bullfighter and so Marth finds himself all alone at the end of the final phase. The third map is called Counter-Attack Crew, and as the name suggests, Takumi and Naoi must counterattack the enemies to death. So the first thing we're going to do is have Naoi buff up Takumi with her rally defense, and we're just going to park Takumi here in this tile so that he can tank a couple attacks and counterattack. Meanwhile, we're going to park Shershi here to guide this Lance Dragon to attack her. Seeing as he's got the steady stance, we need to counterattack and try to do as much damage as we can. Now let's go. Lance Dragon versus Shershi. They both do minimal amount of damage. Meanwhile, Bullfighter versus Takumi. Took some damage. You'll never hit this target. <laughs> he's already hit him twice. Never hit this target. Takumi's got brain damage. Well, there he goes, taking down the Axe Cavalier. Okay, so now we need to take out this guy as quickly yes. as possible. Unfortunately, though, Takumi can't quite do it, and his health is too low and he doesn't have vantage, so we're just gonna go Let's and go. hide him in a corner for the time being. Meanwhile, Let's we're gonna go. move Naoi over here to start tanking enemy attacks. Now, Shershi's next job is quite important. He's gonna fight Lance Dragon again to get rid of that Luna. After baiting the enemy Luna and going, ah! Now, Lance Dragon shouldn't be able to take down Naoi. This is very important because if that Lance Dragon still had Luna, well, Naoi will not be able to kill him. Uh, Nami will, will, be, will turn into a bloody mess. That's what I meant to say. Anyway, watch my monster grow! Now, my giant dragon Naoi will consume everything like this Lance Dragon and the Bullfighter. Doing exactly zero damage. Whoop! He gets eaten. Okay, and now, get to move again. Seeing how we have two phases left, we need to settle the score. Now, Takumi will go in here and finish off this Axe Dragon Dimension. Die already! Die already! Beow! And now there's no more Axe Dragon. Okay, so now all that's left is this Lance Knight. This blue refrigerator, we're gonna have him killed. We're gonna move Naoi over here and we'll use Shershi's pivot to get Shershi over here so that she can counterattack this blue refrigerator to death. And that is the solution to counterattack rule. All units must counterattack. The fourth map is called Stalwart Defenders or as Dark Overlord Elise would call them, as she sends them on a do-or-die training regimen. As you can see, yes. these six paths well, do well. not have Raffle Staff, while the enemy here is at full strength and is coming to strangle them all to death. So how do we get past this nasty situation? Well, first we're gonna move Pedal Path to break open this wall, allowing the Trap Path to go and inflict the six paths of pain plus! Formerly known as Raven Bat. Okay, now we're gonna move Osama Bin Laden here to do a terrorist attack on this one wall, weakening it. This will be integral to the coming plans. Okay, so now we're gonna have in turn and let Lance Dragon attack Lucius once. <laughs> okay, now. Now that that part is down, we can move Asama down where the walls formerly existed and inflict the six paths of pain plus Asama Bin Laden! Boom. Okay, and now we need to get rid of this Lance Dragon. Let's pay him back. Eye for an eye! 
Okay. Now, we're gonna move Petal Path here to attack this Axe Dragon. Can't kill him, but... We can at the very least weaken you a little. Slow you down. Ooh! Okay, now that that's happened, only one of them can attack Petal Path. I mean, he, he could attack Osama Bin Laden. But, but, Axe Dragon will choose to attack Riss because they can do more damage to Riss than Asaba. Yep. <laughs> oh my god, sounded just like a real pedal. Okay, so in this turn is particularly tricky. Well, well. So for a bit, I... I get tempted to attack with a Solomon Ladder. And I thought to myself, no, that's a bad idea because then Lucius can't act or Lucius dies. So yes. what I should do is I'm gonna do zero damage to this land's cavalier. Huh? Apathy path! Six paths of pain plus! Despite the fact that I did no damage, thanks to the power of the six paths of pain plus, I splashed some damage across the board. Now we're gonna go and have Risk take care of this axe dragon. Ooh! Now we'll slow you down. Not that it matters. And have Trap Path consume you with the six paths of pain. Plus, all that's left here is this one dude with his fire sweep sword. Yeah, like it's gonna matter at all, right? Now all that's left is to simply crush him to death. With the six pass of pain plus. Okay, and now we're gonna have pedal path attack it, slowing it down. I should have done that in the beginning, but it doesn't really matter because you know, <laughs> Sama isn't gonna be outspeeding that anytime soon. However, that is enough for the trap path to consume the sword fighter. This is the power. Of the six paths of pain plus. The fifth job is called Horse and Man as one, kind of like me and Red Hair. But anyway, as the name suggests, it's all about Krom, or is it? As the description says, if he thinks he can beat these foes without help, is in for a rude awakening. <laughs> so putty. Okay, so one of the situation here is. You may be tempted to attack that green mage. Well, that's a horrible idea. So we're gonna go and move Krom over here. First, he's gonna get hit by this bow cavalier right to there. enter the seal falchion mode, and then he will go and do as he pleases. So let's go and do that. We're gonna park the demon Marie in a defense platform, My turn. and Rajat will give attack and defense to the demon Maria. Green Mage attacks Demon Maria. <laughs> As she emits her evil noises and causes panic to this Green Mage. Meanwhile, Bull Cavalier versus Krom. That puny attack allows Krom to enter his Seal Falchion mode, entering his true power. Now, the reason why this Green Mage decides to attack the Demon Maria rather than Rajat is twofold. One is that Rajat has a lot of resistance and defenses thanks to distant defense and that and two is okay. that demon maria doesn't do as much damage so still things as it is we can no that's not how we do it we're gonna move rashad over here to take care of this green mage because the demon maria did some damage to this green mage enough for rashad to just take him out whoa whoa as these two wolves destroys the green mage now we're gonna drive that seal falchion right into the face of that blue manakeet. Prepare to die! Still did quite a bit of damage, but... Now he's in trouble, he has only one health. But come on! I always do my best. The horrifying incantation of the deadly and terrifying Maria has been uttered. The demon Maria now declares I'm being helpful. She always do her best. That is why she is so incredibly terrifying. Have you ever met a person who can always do their best? Anyway, 
So Krom, now that he's entered full foul Chow mode, he's just tanking things left and right. And now let us go and drive that sword into that bowl fighter. Not enough to take him out, however... Demon Maria will do just enough damage! And so the horrifying demon destroys that bowl fighter, spreading his panic over there. And then Rajat will go and give attack and defense to Maria again, which will come in handy because this awful dude is going to hit the demon Maria on the coming turn. Ugh. Secret technique! Infinite revival! Ugh. And then the evil Maria counterattacks. Meanwhile, Krom takes no damage from Axe refrigerator and I can't stop this thing as he uses stupid blade just sucks all the life away from that refrigerator dooming him okay now all we need to do is we're gonna run over there and crush the red refrigerator you may think a little vengeance will help but Krom has so much defense thanks to that seal falchon he doesn't care and now a red refrigerator has been defeated. Alright, Rajat does have effectiveness. Oh, actually, it doesn't. Hmm. I guess. Ah, ah Granny Shield. Out. Grandmother Shield. So she can't take down Bow Cavalier. Okay. But I can just do this. Use Demon Maria. Here with you. Always with you. Besides just doing your best all, all the right. time, she can do this. And now Rajat can kill this Bow Cavalier without dying. Begin! Ah! <laughs> Look at that face of concern. And so Rajat kills that horrible man, and now that is the end. The sixth map is called Jet Black March, so you may think that Zelgis will be doing all the work. But in actuality, it's just not as simple as that. Well, the Dark Overlord Elise sends Lollipath to support us in this job. Let's move her up there first. And then, we will have Jet Black March open up the way, allowing Lollipath to enter the fray. And now, I suppose we will end by moving Ubisaurus Rex together with them, out of danger from this Red Mage, and just let Tsubaki tank this. Moving. Red Mage versus Subaki doing a tiny, tiny amount of damage. Alright, now it's time for the true star of this show to shine. Yes. Bubisaurus Rex. Secret technique! Bubisaurus Smash! The powerful smash causes 7 damage across the board. And now we'll just have our dear buddy Zelgius go over there and just smack this guy in the head. Okay, now what to do? Well, yes. let's move Ubisaurus Rex a little closer so that this Axe Fighter don't go out let's of control. Tsubaki marches in, drags this Camilla over here, and we'll use this opportunity to go and hit Lance Knight, the blue refrigerator, for some free damage. Oops, sacred cowl. Well, we only managed to suck a little bit of health. Alright. And so, Lolly Vampire sucked a little bit of health, it's time for the next move. Bullfighter versus Zogius! Gives him a good hit. Let's see how you handle this. Can he handle this? Oh, no, he cannot. That is why Black Luna is out of control. Meanwhile, it's time to play as Boobasaurus Rex uses her massive boob to smash two people to death! Behold. Massive boob crush. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna send in Boobasaurus Rex to destroy this bullfighter, ending his threat once and for all. Sweet dreams! Sweet dreams. And with that over with, we splashes more damage to these Lance Fighters and Lance Knights. Now we're gonna go over here and have Tsubaki swap position, allowing Bubisaurus Rex to continue fighting this Lance Knight and this Lance Fighter to go up and fight Tsubaki instead. 
we will end this by healing our good friend so that she may stay healthy for the coming battle ahead. Alright, let's go and move Selgus down here. End it with that. Shubaki versus Lands Fighter! Ooh, that hurt a little. Only a little, though. And now, Refrigerator versus Bubisaurus Rex. Okay, alright. So now we're gonna run the hell out of here now. This is really bad. So instead, we're gonna have Boobisaurus Rex. Use your massive boobs to smash this land spider. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. <laughs> and splash just enough for him to have one health, allowing the puny Zelgius to hit him for two damage and ending this match. But yeah, really, we're gonna <laughs> heal him anyway. Yep, you take care now. Go over there and hit him. Alright, Pitch Black March! No, Jet Black March, whatever, you're finished. The seventh map is called Caught in a Snare. As the name suggests, Alm and his friends are caught in a deadly ambush laid by the evil Celica and her Duma faithful minions in a mad bid to turn Alm into a crispy gingerbread man. In order to avoid this fate, Alm and his friends must destroy the enemies surrounding them and break free to freedom. Okay, so the first attack will be by Faye, who will go and take down this land squad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll never get tired of that sound. Alright, now Gray will swap in to put Faye to safety because Faye is not exactly good against attacks. Meanwhile, we're gonna have Claire and her run fire to deal with this blue refrigerator while Alm fights this sword flyer. Alm should be able to tank it. Let's go. Nope. Enemy has weakened us. Ah, Claire Bear attack with run fire! Meanwhile, sword flyer double attacks. Alm has been weakened to the point that he can only perform the single lion. Will he be able to survive this? Gray attacks this green refrigerator twice, and now what do we do next? So this guy gives out attack ploy, so we need to get rid of that. Let's see, let's see. First things first, we're gonna have the Faye take care of this blue refrigerator. Getting him out of play. Ugh. I far prefer her yeah. much more. Okay, and now we will use Harsh Command, one of the best skills in the game. I wish that it can become more meta, but, well, unfortunately that is how it is at the moment. Okay, so let's go and use our Enhanced Attack to take down this green refrigerator, getting him out of our sight. This ends here! This ends here! Okay, and now we're going to go and swap Claire out situate ourselves here and we're gonna just wait we're gonna use these two guys to tank the enemy attacks here it comes ah oh, god that hurts so much single lion all right well oh that no 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 Ooh, that hurt a little but i will smile and slash you to death that is the power of gray Okay, now Gray is out of commission. Let's go and use him one last time and swap in the Ia to finish off this Lance Dragon. Yeah. <laughs> Die! And so Lance Dragon has been sent to the Shadow Realm. It's time we. Oh, that's not good. Ah, but we've got this. Finish him off. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what a thing to say right before slashing someone to death. Alright. The eighth and final map is called Another Reunion. Lilina is currently imprisoned by the enemy forces and we must go and rescue her. Based on the description here, Roy must rescue Lilina and then Lilina must use her growing flame to finish off the enemy. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna have Roy punt Shana over there so that Shana can get started with the rescue process. But before we do that, 
we're gonna have Mickey Mouse voice attack this bullfighter. See, the important thing about this is that we need to do damage, and we need to build up some charges. So, doing damage and getting hit will help me out significantly. Now, we will have Shauna finish off this bullfighter. You can't leave that thing around. Otherwise, that thing will shoot down Shauna. Okay, now that that's done, let us move Gwendolyn up there and stand by for it. Ooh, that hurt a little. Red Mage. Ooh, that air is so much. Roy never looked more pathetic, but that's okay. That's okay, that is why we have our friends. Alright, let's go punt Gwendolyn over there. And Gwendolyn will teach this red mage, who has this cute close counter, a painful lesson in pain. Let's go drag you over. Ha! Yeah, that bite. Yeah, okay. Alright, here we go. Ooh, but I will take advantage first. That's okay then. Mickey Mouse voice attack! 420 blaze it! And now Red Mage has been blazed. Let us go and not rescue with Shauna. We'll move Shauna here to get ready for incoming enemies. Alright, Bullfighter will attack Roy, nearly killing him. And now enemy reinforcements have arrived. Roy must hurry and get over there and start rescuing. Meanwhile, Mickey Mouse voice is in danger unless we do something to stop this. So we're gonna just go over here and use Shauna, who just so have enough speed to take out this bullfighter. Let's go! Fine, fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, everything is fine! 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 I'm in a burning building! Everybody's trapped! Everything is fine! Alright, now we're gonna go and... We're just gonna stand here, I guess. We're gonna wait for the enemy to come here, and then we're gonna toast them when they arrive at this location. Alright, let's enter. Lance Fighter fights Gwendolyn! Meanwhile, Gwen is just tanking everything because Gwen's a monster. Look at this! Block this, block that. Enemy reinforcements have arrived, looking to execute Lilina. We must rescue her. Well, here we go. Roy will do the only thing he can do this whole match, bust open that cell door, allowing Lilina to avoid the evil that is this bullfighter. Meanwhile, I guess we'll move Shauna up. Should we kill this guy? Mm, no, 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 no that, might, that might be a bad idea. We'll, we'll leave things as it is. We'll just park here for now. We'll create a traffic jam. That's what we'll do. We'll create a traffic jam to keep that bull guy from getting any further. Alright, and now we will use the final clue of this, using the growing flame to finish this. Let's go, Lilina! Secret technique! Inferno Fire Blast! And that is why we gotta keep that guy alive. Okay, and now... Oh, can't kill that refrigerator. Oh, but we can kill that one. Haha, -ha, I've got a solution in mind. Alright, Shauna, double attack. <laughs> I always love the way she makes that sound when she attacks. Here we go! I actually like Shauna a lot, so I might build her at some point. Even though she's just another generic character, a generic uh, lands flyer. Okay, let's punt Gwendolyn over there, and Roy will finish his last solemn task. He doesn't fight or do anything, he just kind of get hit a lot, open a cell door and pushes people around. Yes. But Gwen, Gwen will wrap this show up. Let's go! Yeah. Drag this dude to Wendy's and feed him into a fat and useless. Alright, and that's all for all the Gwen... <laughs> Gwen... <laughs> Gwen Master... <laughs> oh my god, I've got brain damage. All the Grandmaster Tactics Drills map. I thank you all for watching, until next time.